what you, what you, what you, what you, what you want. It better be no filter news and talk. It better be no filter news and talk. It better be no filter news and talk. It better, it better, it better, better. It better, it better, it better, better. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to No Filter News and Talk, and it's your girl Ingrid. Well, it looks like Nipsey Hussle's daughter Imani will not go back with her mother. And the mother is livid, according to TMZ. Tanisha Foster was in court Monday trying to regain custody of her 10-year-old daughter, Imani. And Imani has been living with Nipsey's sister, Samantha, since his death in March. Well, Nipsey's family was in court and squared off with Tanisha, whom they believe is not fit to care for Imani. The hearing was sealed, but there's another date scheduled for July. Tanisha lawyer Larry Lou Levin, I guess that's his name, I don't know. He told TMZ that he's working with Nipsey family on a visitation schedule that will be in Imani's best interest. As for Tanisha, she left the courtroom crying and told us that she was pissed off. But one thing I don't like is the slander. People are acting like they know this woman. They act like they know this woman's life. I wasn't advocating for her, but I'm like, damn, y'all talking like you know her. You don't know nothing. I mean, I, I hear some of these YouTubers, they talking loud and they saying nothing, okay? And then they feel like when people disagree with they BS, then they feel like, oh, well, you hating. When they see my platform growing, you hating. Listen, it's 50,000 gazillion million trillion platforms out here okay nobody's hating on you but you just sound stupid when y'all try to tear this woman down when you don't even know the story like i never seen nipsey tear her down i never heard nipsey say anything bad about his baby mother his his daughter's mother so what give you the right to do it y'all don't know this woman life well, yeah, she looked like she do. Okay, just say that you like Lauren, okay? You don't have to keep putting them two together. Whatever situation that was between them, that was between them. And quite frankly, I feel like the reason why she act like she didn't have it, having a hard time with letting Nipsey go is probably because he was going back and forth between both of the women, sending her mixed signals. I'm just saying. I'm going to call the thing like it is. But that's allegedly. But for people to act like they have actually watched this woman take care of her kids is wrong. Oh, well, she got a DUI. So a, a DUI don't make you a bad parent, especially if the kids ain't even in the car. What if she just left the club and was just chilling and left the club, okay, and drinking and driving? Okay, she got her DUI. But y'all act like the kids was in the car. That's what I'm talking about. People running off at the mouth, but they don't even know this woman. Then they go picking apart her Instagram page. Oh, well, she got lean and she got drugs all on her back. And you might got drugs on yours. You probably got kids. You probably got drugs on yours. Look, sweep around your own front door before you try to sweep around somebody else's. Now, Nipsey family probably is better for Imani, more stable for Imani. We know that he probably was the money maker, so it's all good, but I'm just saying, stop slandering folks like y'all act like y'all know somebody. Y'all don't even know him. But, that's my How's it going, Tanisha? I just wanted to know, how did it go in there today? Hope this off. God bless. Were you able to make any progress on the visitation rights or anything? God bless you. Thank you. I do know you did You did get to see your daughter in there for a little bit. Was that, how did that feel? What did that mean to you? I hope you have a blessed day, okay? Thank you. Just one last thing. I do want to know, are you going to do anything to try to clear up the warrant? Okay. Thank you, Tanisha. Good luck.